Leo, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is a business genius. His information will be down below. Um, but let's dive right in. We have the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords coming out as your overall energy. Uh, Leo, it's definitely a time to consider re-strategizing exactly what's going on right now. Perhaps it might be time to learn a new skill Perhaps it might be time to further your information or your knowledge on something. You know, whenever we're not feeling passionate in our lives and whenever we are feeling um, like we want change to happen, we have to be the change we want to see. And generally, for well, first of all, that always comes from an inspired place. So make sure you're tuning into your heart and listening to where your intuition is guiding you. Even if that new thing that it's guiding you towards doesn't make any sense to you at all, do it anyway, because listening is what brings us passion and inspiration and trust, a feeling of trust. Because I can see here that there is a new endeavor that you're being guided right towards, or perhaps it's already in, uh, presented itself. But know that this is invoking a, a, an energy of fear. And this fear is only coming because of the uncertainty of what is to come. And if there's one thing that we're sure of, it's change, right? Change is always, is always here for us. And when we can truly understand that when we attach to any outcome or expectation, we are keeping ourselves in a limited box, a, a limited belief cycle. Because what's happening then is we are being asked to go against what it is we've been telling ourselves. And this feeling is challenging. It's scary for us. So we may have been practicing something for quite some time with the, with the, vibration of this is going to be it for me but then the universe is saying well no if you want what you're looking for and you're you're being guided towards your manifestations we're asking of you to try something different we're asking of you to do something you're not used to doing and that feeling is going to be terrifying because we're so conditioned to think this is what i'm doing this is what is happening right whenever we have a belief it's just a thought we continue to think and when we have beliefs it really holds us back it doesn't matter what belief it is it really holds us back because the universe always has bigger plans for us always a new a new way forward for us and right now i can see that that there is something that's aligning for you there is a new path for you but there needs to be this energy of understanding that there needs to be some there needs to be some personal growth okay there needs to be yeah there, there needs to be a, a um, evolution of your energy which is so much fun what this really means is that it's time to learn it's time to get back into the learning and as an empath we are not even happy if we're not constantly learning something we are truly not happy if we are not evolving spiritually it's just in our dna to evolve spiritually because we're empaths it's necessary universe is asking for you to do this for yourself now now this is not something you have to force or effort you can absolutely ask your guides and angels guides and angels please direct me in the direction of where I should be uh, learning right now whatever mentor it may be whatever skill it may be please guide me I know nothing I know nothing please guide me right we got to give up all of our rights to know things because that how when we say we know things really what it is is creating beliefs and it's closing us off of of, of receival mode right it's like we almost got to come from an energy always of of, of, of truly not knowing anything, always being from a student perspective, as opposed to being the teacher or the coach, because when that come, when we have this energy of, of, of knowing things, and I've done this for a while, so I know it, it's like, well, it really closes us off from learning more and from being open to receiving more from the universe. So it, right now, I feel like there's a degree of fear because there's something the universe is asking for you to walk away from. Again, the belief keeps coming forward, right? The, the, the energy of beliefs, and oh man, beliefs really keep us in that limited box, right? And ooh, li be feeling limited feels horrible. It doesn't even feel right because we are limitless. We are limitless. And as a Leo, you know what this feels like because this is your true DNA, this is your essence, right? And if you're not constantly feeling that passion and that inspiration, you feel depleted, right? And you don't feel like you're yourself. And the universe is just saying, look, become even better at what you're doing. Find a way to, you know, you're already the, the, you're already good at what you do. Become even better. Find a way to evolve yourself so that you're even better. Find a way so that you can constantly be, you, you're, you're in a time of ev evolution now. Evolution needs to happen. A growth needs to happen. A personal, uh, um, uh, 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 your vibration needs to increase and this always comes through the, the 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 energy of knowledge through learning something new because then we have more confidence in ourselves we have more belief in ourselves we have more faith in ourselves 
because we're learning something new and that's exactly what we're being called to do. Time to build that experience, baby, because you are being guided exactly where you need to be. So listen to your intuition. I feel like your intuition has been calling you, but I feel like you've been neglecting it. I feel like there is a, a, a sense of resisting what your intuition is saying. This happens to the best of us. Trust me, our beliefs really hold us back. Our beliefs really, really hold us back. But you know, when we can start to, well, meditation is the best because when we meditate, we really quiet ourselves. And when we quiet ourselves, then we're able to feel. And it's a, it's a feeling universe, right? It's not a thinking universe. It is absolutely a feeling universe. And when we sit, when we stop for a minute, then we're able to feel out what feels good to us, what feels right to us, what feels inspiring and, and passionate. But when we are living our lives so chaotically, efforting, forcing, trying, stressing, anxiety, what's happening is we're just depleting our energy. Anything we think about, whether it's a person, whether it's a memory, whether it's an event, whether it's a situation, if we're thinking about any of these things and we're thinking about it in a way where it is coming off as fruit fly, where it is scarcity or um, where it for, feels more like um, a feeling, it invokes a feeling of fear or anxiety. If we're thinking of anything, what someone said to us, what someone's doing, what we're doing, where anything, anything at all, what's happening is we're depleting our energy. We're scattering our energy, right? And um, when this happens, again, it's not dog love, right? Whenever we think about something, it's got to feel like dog love. It's got to feel passionate and inspirational back. It's got to feel like the right thing. And sometimes it might even not feel motivational, inspirational, passionate. More often than not, it doesn't. More often than not, it is just what we know is true. We know is right. We know what we're doing. We know that we put a little bit. It's really just about putting energy into what you want to create. So what do you want for yourself? Okay. And then put a little energy into it every single day from a place of creation instead of a place of scarcity or dis uh, 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 disconnection. And remember, Leo, that... Whoops, it's okay. Remember that when you are asked to evolve. It means that there are going to be certain aspects of yourself that you will have to give up. And it's not the stuff that's going to, it's not the good stuff. It's the stuff that's not supporting you anymore. Always know that. So when you're asked to give up something and you know, it's not right for you, it's, there's a reason for it. And it's because the universe is asking you to eliminate certain energy so that new energy can come forward. Always know that. Okay. So take a good hard look in the mirror and really ask yourself, really sit with yourself, right? You know, what is it that I am hanging on to? Is it a belief? Is it a, uh, is it a habit? You know, what is it that I'm holding on to that is holding me back from raising my vibration and achieving the success and desire that I'm looking for? And again, this is something that, that you don't want to look at from a not being in control perspective. You want to, you want to ask the guides and angels from a uh, energy of, I want to be better. I'm looking to see change. I'm looking to be guided forward. What do I need to let go of? Right. Take it by the, you know, take, take it by the horns. You know what I mean? Like really, really, uh, don't be like, well, okay, what do I need to change? You know, what is it that's, what is it that's bothering me? What is it that's keeping me like this, right? That is a scarcity vibration. You probably felt that, right? It's needy. What do I do? Needy, right? Instead, you're like, all right, I got to take control back of my life. I want abundance. I want love. What are we doing here? Guides and angels, what are we doing? Guide me. I know nothing. Please guide me. I, re I, I, I release all my beliefs. I release all my thoughts. I release all, everything that I once knew. Guide me forward, please, because that truly is how you're going to eliminate a lot of resistance. It's going to create um, a, an open energy, a receival mode. The guides will be able to come through, especially when you address them, because they are not able to help on free will. They're only able to enter our lives when we ask of them and when we call for them. So be grateful for them throughout the day, right? Thank them throughout the day. I always thank them in the morning and in the evening time and, and, and plan out, you know, a, a, a day of abundance ahead and get eager and excited for the next day. Cause again, every day is like a treasure hunt, right? Every day is a treasure hunt. I mean, when you start to really tune in and live your life by what your heart wants, oh my gosh, every moment is magical. It truly is. And we're always guided into these new opportunities and uh, ma our manifestations just show up out of nowhere. It's unbelievable. Every day is so exciting. So 
just get to get this feeling, you know, established, right? And figure out what it is that's holding you back. And again, there's like a little, there's like a, a, a constant ping, that gut reaction of what you know you got to let go of. And it seems difficult at first. You tell yourself, how could I live without this? My life won't be the same. This seems too difficult. I don't know. All of the excuses, all the justifications. But if you just stop, shut up, smaller self. If you just stop, right? And you tell yourself to just stop for a minute and you just really tune in and listen. Oh, it just becomes so magical. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Leo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.